everybody. Today we have the Latitude 7450 laptop. Very nice laptop with Intel Core Ultra 7 processor, 32 GB RAM memory. We'll take it apart and see what we can replace, maybe upgrade and fix. All right, so we have to start with those Philips screws. Now pry off the bottom case. Alright, here we have the part number if you're planning on replacing the bottom case. Search for it on eBay or Google. Here we can see the whole layout. Let's start with the battery. Let's disconnect it. You should do that on the beginning. So you just pull it up. Now unscrew these four Phillips screws. All right, the battery is out. Here we have the part number for the battery. Now we can take out the SSD card. One screw holds the cover. Oops. Now lift up the cover. That's our SSD card. Here we have the part number for it. Okay, let's disconnect speakers. Pull the cable, they are connected together. The speakers are out. Here we have the part number for the speaker. Take out the fan and the heat sink in case if your fan is making grinding noise or the cooling is insufficient, you will have to replace this. That's the connector for the fan. Let's see, okay, so it's connected to the heat sink. Let's unscrew the heat sink. Gentle, don't bend the bend the heat sink. All right, that's our part number for the heat sink. And here, the 
Now let's take out the motherboard. Unplug the touchpad. Here we have the Wi-Fi module. It's soldered on the motherboard, but you can unplug the antenna since we are removing it. Same with memory. It's unfortunately, it's soldered on the motherboard. Always remember to close those retaining clips. They're very fragile. You don't want to break it. All right, now screws for the motherboard. Now here we have the bracket. It, it's holding the video cable for the screen, so let's Take it out. Okay. That's the part number for the Wi-Fi cable, if you need it. Let's disconnect it. Let's see if we can leave the motherboard. No. Okay, another screw here. Oh, okay, I missed this screw. Three screws here. All right, now the motherboard is coming out. Here we have the part number oh, and one here. Search for both in case if you can't find it. <clears throat> okay, this way we have all the components out. Now we can unscrew the hinges for the display. keyboard and the touchpad and the palmer's assembly there. and here we have the part number we could take out the touchpad in case if you are planning to replace it here we have the part number for it 
same with keyboard. You would have to take out all the tiny screws and then you could replace just the keyboard, but usually you can buy the whole keyboard Palmer's assembly. Here we have the display assembly. So remember, in case if you're planning to replace it, search for the part number which is on the video cable. And it's fairly easy to replace it. Thank you. See you in the next one.